Hello, welcome to Tank's Vlog for today, May 19th, 2017, wrapping up the day in sports. The Mets came home after a miserable 0-6 road trip, desperately needing a win, and they got it. And they got it because of Jacob deGrom, who without a doubt is the grittiest pitcher the Mets have. You know, people, Matt Harvey was supposed to have the best stuff, he was supposed to have the championship makeup, well, we know that's not true. No Syndergaard probably has the best stuff when healthy. And he's probably the best pitcher when healthy. But the one pitcher the Mets have that's the grittiest, the toughest, and the strongest is Jacob DeGrom. And he proved it today. Finally going through seven innings. And in that seventh inning, that seventh inning was a struggle. I mean, it looked like he had a blister on his finger. Uh, I was really concerned there when he loaded the bases with nobody out. But he... Fought his way through it. Got through seven for finally. Got a mad pitcher. Got through the seventh inning. Ugh. It's about time. And he went out there. Mets beat the Angels three to nothing. A win they much desperately needed. So tonight, I wear this hat. Hair hat given out last year in honor of Jacob deGrom's outstanding performance. It, you know, this season is 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 is, is it, the ship be sinking, as Michael Ray Richardson once said. The ship be sinking, and these next few games, these next this next week, this is where the Mets got to really start turning things around. It it. Paul Seabold did uh, did a good job out of the bullpen tonight. Um, Jerry Blevins did a good job. Addison Reed did a good job shutting the door at the end of the game. They just got to get more games like this. And Jacob DeGrom get, finally getting to the seventh inning was huge. Huge. NHL tonight, as expected, the Penguins... Even the series against the Senators. So you got both conference finals through four games. Even. 2-2. Two, two. Though it's a little different. Each series is a little different. The Penguins are going home 2-2. Two, two. They won today 3-2 in Ottawa. They, they barely hung on there at the end. The Senators are really great at trying to get this tying goal. It was 3-1. to one. They cut it to 3-2. to two. And they threw everything they could at the... Uh, Murray at the end of that game, and I tell you what, if the uh, Penguins had another 10 seconds in that game, I really think Ottawa would have tied it. I mean, that game ended just in the nick of time for the Penguins, so they could get the win, get the series even, and get it back to Pittsburgh Game 5 Sunday night. Meanwhile, the Nashville Predators got terrible news. Ryan Johansson's out for the playoffs. So there you go. So they lost yesterday. Uh, heartbreaker, and now they go back to Anaheim, two-two. That team's reeling. I wouldn't. I that the loss of Johansson could be the, could be a death blow for the Predators. Then we got that other sport on the hardwood. Tonight's turning point was the national anthem. The Cavaliers showed up. The Celtics didn't. That game was just. Is that a playoff game? Was that a was that really a playoff game? Oh my God! Forty-four points. I mean, the game wasn't even as close as the score, and the score is an utter, just devastating blowout. It, NBA playoffs. These playoffs have been just such a bore. And I, I, someone actually had to sign the Cleveland or the Monstars. I mean, it's just... That series is over. It's over. It is over. We're going to see rematch. The last two NBA Finals, maybe there could be some juice in that when the Cavaliers play the Warriors. But it's over. Now the, now the Celtics have lost Isaiah Thomas. His status in Game 3 is up in the air. Just, just brutal. Just brutal. 
I mean, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand how it could be that bad. In other news, Boston, uh, Chris Sales continued his outstanding start to the season. Uh, he had his eighth straight 10 strikeout game. He's just been mowing down batters all year, but he hasn't got much run support. I mean, it's it's incredible. The, uh, one of the big surprises this year is the uh, struggles of the Red Sox hitting. And it's not uh, really calculated to wins. It's it's uh, utterly amazing what's happened in Boston. I you, know, I, you knew they were going to miss Poppy, but boy, you didn't think they'd miss Poppy this much. They had a really good lineup last year, and uh, that's a ties a record for uh, consecutive starts with ten Ks to begin the season. I mean, he's just off to an outstanding start. But the Red Sox just can't seem to get wins for him. Well, that will do it for today. Tomorrow I'll be on the road again. At some point I'll get the vlog up after the Mets game, on my way home from the Mets game. Good day.